Hello fellow developers and welcome to Scrapes, the world's first MMO strategy open world game for programmers. Now, Scrapes is cool because you have to play the game by coding in JavaScript. There is no other way to play it, but this is okay. If you don't know JavaScript, don't sweat it. This simulation tab up here, if you're a first-time newcomer to JavaScript, click it. It'll give you an easy tutorial on how to set up your world and all that. But hey, that's what you're here for, so just stay around and I'll show you how to do that myself. So, a little background info on the game. You're going to code scripts in order to take out other players while defending your own room. You can also build structures like ramparts, spawns, roads, all to help you out within the game. The game works on a 24-hour basis, so you don't have to be sitting there playing the game at all times. Your success depends on your intelligence, rather than your time wasted. So without further ado, let's get into how to create an account. You're going to click on this World tab once you feel confident, and you're going to go to here, Create New Account. You're going to want to put in a valid email, your player name that you want to be recognized by within the Scrapes world, and your password, and confirm your password to make sure you didn't type it wrong the first time. So once you do that, it'll take you to an area where you're going to design your logo. Just do that, and when you're done, you can log into your account and see the world map. Now I've already done this, and if you have, you can go ahead and sign in here. And once you sign in, it's going to take you to this map. Now the map is a little bit hard to understand, but I'm going to explain it to you. So basically it's going to ask you to choose a room to place your spawn in. Now don't get confused by that, that's pretty simple. It means it wants you to basically choose one of these rooms that someone already hasn't chosen, and it's got to have this little gray dot in it. Now, your screen is probably going to look something like this. It's going to show you the rooms you can claim and the rooms that you can't. Um, I think yours is going to actually be green and red. Mine is gray and red because I've actually played this game for a while. But that's alright. So you're going to want to look for a room that fits you well. You're going to want to look for one with multiple ones of these yellow dots. The yellow dots represent energy and resources that you're going to need in the game. You want to find a room with as many of those as you can. You also want to find a room with as little of this green swamp area as you can. Swamps will slow down your creeps and ultimately it just results in a lot of frustrating and agonizing pain as you watch your creeps move so slowly throughout the map. So. You're going to want to find one of those. And the black represents walls. Now, scrapes, or creeps can't pass walls, so you need to be careful with those. They can be helpful in defending from other players, but they can also be quite annoying. So find the room that suits you and click it. I will show you my room that I start out with. Now, you're not going to start out with this, obviously. You're going to have to code your way up, but that's all right. So the green dots in the long run are going to represent what you are. Anything red is going to be an enemy. So in my room, the one that I selected, I had very few walls. So I had to go ahead and build walls for myself. And I'll show you how to do that in later videos. And ramparts and structures and oh my gosh, it's so amazing. Mine had two sources, one here and one here, and my little gray dot was all the way up here, so I ended up placing my spawn about in the middle of them, and that's what you're going to want to do. So when you click on a room, it's going to ask you to place your spawn, and you're going to do that, but when you do, it's going to take you to a page that looks something like this. Now, it's going to say you have zero credits and you need to get some more. So... You can do this one of two ways. You can either buy credits, or you can do their free Twitter promo. Now, I've already done the Twitter promo, so I can't really show you this part, but it's pretty simple. You're going to link your account here, and when it links to your Twitter account, you just need to have 10 or more followers, and you're good. You're going to hit this button, Tweet, and it's going to pop open a page with a tweet message that you can send. You're going to want to hit Tweet, and it'll tweet it out for you, and it'll say, Oh, you tweeted, awesome, here's 600 credits for you. And 
in 30 days you can do this again. So you need to be careful though. If you go back and you delete the tweet, it'll also remove your credits here. So don't do that. Okay, just leave the tweet there. So once you have your credits, it's going to probably take you to a page looking like this. Okay? It's going to ask you to set up how many credits you want to use. If it doesn't take you to this page, don't sweat it. Just right click here and hit manage CPU. Um, with your 600 credits, you need to be careful about this. I have my CPU limit set to 25, but what you're going to want to do is have this all the way at the very end. Not at off, but at 20 credits, the very minimum. Um, by doing this, you'll have exactly 30 days of uh, game time before you have to do another Twitter promo. If you do any more credits than 20, you're going to have problems in the future, so make sure you have t enough credits to survive you 30 days. So once you're going to do that, you're just going to hit save. I'm not going to because I want to keep it mine at 25. And then you can go back to your world, or it might take you there automatically, and you can actually place your spawn now. Now, once you place your spawn, you're good, you have claimed the room, and I'll show you how to work with it later. This is going to be in the next video, and I'll see you there if you want to join me. Have a great day.